Right, what do we have here? Look at this. We are changing the battery. So we are going to change the battery and I show you how to do this and what to look for to not destroy the speaker when you do. It's not that old but after a year or so, maybe two or three in some cases, uh, you may want to or have to change the battery. And even though I think this has one of the best batteries in there of all the speakers, it shouldn't happen. We have the logo up front turn it over and then the lower part here has to come off you go in there whoa that was a little in there like this and you can flip that open ah, like this see that ooh, ooh. and then you have those two screws one there and one up here, barely on the screen here, but we can see that. So those two screws we're going to remove with a Phillips screwdriver. That's what this is. And okay, so this one here and that screw we have loose, and now we can also lift up here. But now we have to be careful. Let's see. In here. Here is a pin in here. That's where we have to get under. We go in here with this and lift this up. You see, without breaking it. See, at this spot, we lift up. Okay. There, and then here. There it goes, loose. You see that? Right, now we can turn the speaker off. That's how it looks like. Here's the driver and the battery is behind here. That's why the driver is on the right side here and not in the middle because there is the space for the battery. Now we need to remove the foot. This one here. It's fixed with two screws. One here and one there. These are different screw sizes than the other ones we just opened. So keep them separate that you know where they come from. Here, those two latches have to get lifted up a little bit and then pull down. Here, like this. You see that? A little up. And then like this. And then there's a hinge on the other side. Here. On this side, there's like hinges here. See that? That way you have to take it off, like this. And there you have your foot here. All right, here's the opening here. So let's put this to the side. And now we can see the battery case here. And the battery case has six screws. One, two, three, four, five. Six, and this is the charge indicator. Okay, so I don't know if yours is still charging when you change the battery or not. I can show this quick when I turn this on here. It's going to charge. Both are the charge LEDs in here. Okay, <coughs> now before we do this, you have to be very, very, very careful when you take this cover off, and I show you why in a second. So now, extremely important, there is a flat band cable going from down here in this corner up to this charging LED port. 
if you open this up, you have to be extremely careful. On this side here, we have two hinges again, here and here. So it's coming loose this way, but we have to be careful with this here. Okay. Oh, well, if I do this upright, I'm doing this like this, and don't pull it off. And you look behind here to look for this wire. Here, there's the wire. This one here. We don't want this to fall off from here. It's glued on. There it is. Put this to the side. So let's see this. Down here. It's glued on here. Like with a tape. You can unhinge this here from your little from the contact here. You have to be careful. Don't go on there with metal stuff like this. I mean, I do this here to show you. And I know what I'm doing. I'm not touching any metal. This is just to secure it. And if you rip this out, then you are out of luck. So there is this little hinge here. Little flap. And I'm going to try to... Let's see if I can stop this from spinning. There. All right. Let's do this. Let's move on closer. All the way in. And you want some focus. Here. Very careful, you can flip this forward like this, and then you can take this out like this, if you want to, but you don't have to, okay? You don't have to take this board out. Let me show this here to make this easier, in case you ripped it off. This cable here could be tucked in down here and and stuck there, so that you can't pull it out like this here so easy. See, I ripped off a little piece here. So that might be very tight in there. So now we are getting to the battery, right? The battery is in here. You can pull this out this way. And the battery is plugged in down there. Can you see that? Now, I'm going to try to go very close with my camera again, with a little more light. There, let's see how, f how far we can get here. There. The better you can see. I think this is now this is good. Okay, so the trick is, in order to get it out, don't use a metal please use some plastic, is to push this in here, the upper part of this little ledge, push that in like this, and then pull up. Don't pull on the wires. That's how it comes out. Okay, let's zoom out again. There's your battery. Look at that. You want to see the battery data, maybe. That's what everybody is after. What battery is in here? Okay, what is your information you want to know? Three point six volt, seven thousand five hundred milliamp hours. That's a lot. Okay, zooming out again. There will be people who ask, okay, uh, what is this for a battery in there? 
and this, as you can see, this is an 18650, 21865, no, 18650 size battery. Though there is three of those in there that make this up, okay? I have those in my flashlight. They use those on laptop computers. They are very reliable. That's what I like about the speaker. This is easy to uh, replace if you buy a battery pack like this. Now, let's show how to put this back together. Now, this just snaps in the little latch on this side. And then be careful when you go in here. It fits only one way. In there. And then push it back down. Oh. A little hard. <laughs> so yeah, it's for me now I have to try to I have the camera at the right angle here. That's in there good. So then you fold the battery cable in here. Now, to get this one back on here, this connector on here, this will be the most difficult part of your life if you want to get this back in here. Um, let me show this here. I don't know if I should show this in very close up. It's uh, painful. That's why I said make sure that you don't rip it out. Ripping it out could damage it. So. You know, if you pull on it before you open this, this can really, really damage it. If the blue part goes up, and then it goes underneath here, I should use a microscope to show this. Oh, wow. I don't know if I'm able to do this... Um, Not sure if I'm able to do this on camera here. Camera could have a better angle too. Alright, tights. Don't use metal. Uh, don't use metal tweezers like I do. Otherwise, you could harm it. On those contacts. So that's locked now. Okay. And then you would turn it on and try it first to see if it has the contact right. Okay, so at least you would try to charge. I don't have my charge wire. You connect it for charging and you look for flames. Oh, see, does it still work? No, I just plugged the charger in. So they're still working, so that is a good sign. Let's unplug this again. And then I'm going to put my sticker on there again. The, the sticker what kept it from pulling out. Like a safety sticker. Here you really don't want it. It's plugged back in. Okay, and so now when we put this together, those two hinges, this one and this one, has to hook up down here and one up there. Careful here with this. Oh no, I have the hand in front of it. So there's this hinge here, right? so you click it in there and on top the same on top right? and then you push it on here, good, and then you should be good.
tight. Now you could turn it on and see if it still works. Yeah, it does. And Bluetooth is important. Still works. So This is a rubber piece here. This must be waterproof, those connections. So that means this thing will be waterproof even though the door here is open. I have the strong feeling. Well, not sure about that, but okay. So we do have hinges here. They have to hook up here in those hooks. Like this. See that? There. And then they clip in here. Like this. Okay. You can still see the lights here. And then we have two screws here. We put those aside earlier, they are a little smaller. They go in here. And now we have to put the cover over. I'm gonna turn this off. Because it's so loud. Um, the cover. If we look at this here. Here where the logo is the logo those two big pins have to go in those two holes this and this right it's how it goes on there like this here's one and up here's the other one okay and then those two ends go in here one here and one there. And then again we have two long screws to go in here. Let's go in here first. And say how I do this. holds it in place here. One. And there's one on the other side. Don't do the wrong hole. Put it into the right hole. Oh my god! There we go. And now, am I out or hanging in here? I just flip it up here like this. Flip it in. There you go. Look at this. There it is. Working battery. Our charge still works. in and then on the front here we see the charge lights on blinking see it's charging and that's my friends is how you change the battery and charge for